Operation Diamond, was carried out by the Mossad, in order to acquire and analyze the Mikhail Gurevich, MiG-21, the most advanced Soviet-made plane, used by Israel's enemies. The first two attempts failed miserably. In the first attempt, a Mossad agent in Egypt, offered an Egyptian pilot $1 million, to fly his MiG to Israel. But the pilot defected, and the agent along with his father and two others, were arrested and charged with espionage and hung. In the second attempt, the Mossad approached two Iraqi pilots, but ended up having to assault them, to keep them quiet when they refused to cooperate. Israel's luck came in 1964, when an Iraqi Jew named Yusuf contacted Israeli services in Tehran. At this time, Israel and Iran had flourishing diplomatic relations, and Iran was used as a base for smuggling Iraqi Jews to Israel. Yusuf explained that his girlfriend had a close friend married to an Iraqi pilot named Munir Redfa, who was dissatisfied with his treatment in the Iraqi Air Force. Redfa was interested in leaving Iraq, and this was just what the Mossad needed. A female Mossad agent was immediately sent to befriend him. She learned that he was indeed upset over the way he was being treated as a Christian in the Iraqi Air Force. He explained to the agent that he was forced to fly with small fuel tanks, refused promotions, and distrusted by his commanders. He was also upset that he was forced to take part in missions to bomb Iraqi Kurds. Redfa expressed an interest in Israel saying, few against so many Muslims. The Mossad agent asked if Redfo would be willing to meet with Israeli agents in Europe. To which he agreed. Through a small peephole, Mossad director, Mayor Ahmed, offered Redfa $1 million, asylum in Israel, and employment. Redfa agreed on the condition that his family would also be smuggled out of Iraq. The Mossad accepted Redfa's condition, and the operation began. Redfa traveled to Israel to meet with Air Force Commander Modi Had and observe the runway on which he would land his plane. While Redfa executed the mission, his plane was picked up by Jordanian radar, along the way to Israel. Jordan contacted Syria, and was told that this MiG was a Syrian plane on a training mission. When Redfa entered Israeli airspace, he was met by two Dassault Mirage 3S, which escorted him to a landing at Hatzor Air Base. Redfa said he had barely made it to Israel, landing the plane on the final drops of fuel. Meanwhile, his family was smuggled out of Iraq to Israel through Iran. Redfa's MiG was immediately put to test by Israeli pilots, who analyzed its strengths and weaknesses, and built training programs for Israeli pilots, to learn how to best confront the aircraft in combat. The acquisition of the MiG, proved its worth, when Israeli pilots successfully downed six Syrian MiG-21s over the Golan Heights, without losing any of its Dassault Mirage 3S. Israel later lent the MiG-21 to the CIA, which also analyzed and extracted intelligence from the aircraft in the Avdonut program. America had been reluctant to sell Israel the F-4 Phantom. But after Israel's consent to lend the MiG-21 for analysis, the road was paved for further advancement of U.S. Israeli security relations and the F-4 Phantom was sold to Israel. Now let's see, how the Operation Diamond is presented in Sagar Simulator.